St. Louis organization with a past that has been characterized as racist is the focus of political ads involving two candidates in the race for U.S. Senate. The Vail Profit Organization formed in the late 1800s in response to a massive railroad worker strike involving many black workers in St. Louis. The secret society of wealthy, all-white St. Louisans has evolved over the years. And new at 6, Fox News' Jeff Bernthal reports on the political ads hitting the airwaves from two Democrats hoping to win the August primary. The ad from Lucas Kuntz calls the Veiled Prophet Society an elite secret society rooted in white supremacy, prompting protests by civil rights leaders. The organization would evolve to disavow bigotry and supports community efforts, including St. Louis's big Independence Day celebration, now called Fair St. Louis. Bush Valentine was crowned Queen of Love and Beauty by the Veiled Prophet Ball in 1977. Trudy Bush Valentine was crowned queen of their whites only ball. She bowed to the veiled prophet, supported the ball for decades. Trudy can never represent us. Bush Valentine has released an ad of her own in response. Trudy has apologized. Her entire life has been fighting for justice and opportunity. As a nurse, Trudy cared for abused children and seniors in hospice. That's why she's endorsed by civil rights leaders and labor unions. Joe Cernick is editor of the Missouri Policy Journal. He suspects Bush Valentine's campaign is now assessing how much money to spend on ads in other parts of the state beyond St. Louis. He's not surprised Bush Valentine responded. She certainly felt like she knows that if she didn't, that would have showed her an insensitivity. So she understood she had to respond. And that sort of is certainly her good political advisors telling her, no, you got no choice. You got to get it right there and say something. Cernick does not expect the issue to create any seismic shift in the race and believes many voters will be deciding which of the 11 Democrats running in the primary they will support in the days leading up to the August 2nd primary. Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News.